Kirby and the Forgotten Land is easily one of my favorite Nintendo Switch games, and I see people all around the world are absolutely enjoying this game, but also a lot of people are finishing the game already, and with that done, there's not much else to do once we 100% the game, and yeah, well, I guess we could replay through it, but right now Nintendo hasn't announced anything post-game. For instance, there's no DLC or anything coming in the future that we know of right now. Nintendo loves post content, and I feel like they've added free updates and even DLC in almost every single one of their Nintendo Switch games. And Kirby Star Allies is an example of this as well. It got tons of extra support with extra characters and even some extra game modes and post game challenges at the very end. So there still is some hope for a potential DLC pack or extra update content coming out to Kirby in the Forgotten Land. So let's talk about what that content content could actually be and what Nintendo could add to Kirby and the Forgotten Land to expand the game a lot more for players that have already 100% in the game like myself. So today I'm going to give some ideas of what Nintendo could do to just completely expand this game a lot more and add some extra content to get people coming back to the game that maybe have already left after completing it. But before we get started, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Kirby and the Forgotten Land. And if there's any upcoming Nintendo Switch games that you would like to purchase, use my link in the description down below. It's a single link that takes you straight to Best Buy where you can purchase any of the games with my special link of course which will help support me so thank you guys so much and let's get on to the video now of course I'm gonna start off with some big things that I think how labs could actually add to the game and one of those things is just simply more worlds I think it's very possible for them to add more levels and more worlds and maybe even more captured waddle D's somehow maybe some new type of side villain steps up for some small post game or something that takes Kirby on an extra adventure throughout a different world we now know that planet Popstar has a kind of two-way dimensional rift to these forgotten lands thanks to Elphalin. So what if some type of creatures or enemies or something happened where some bad guys went to Popstar? And now we can actually play in a 3D perspective of Dreamland, which we've never really had. That would be really cool. Brand new worlds, brand new levels based on the different types of areas in Dreamland. Or it could take us through different places that we've seen in past Kirby games already, like maybe even Hal Chondra and Egg Engines in that area from Kirby Return to Dreamland. There's a lot of options, and I I think there's a lot of cool things that they could do with more worlds and more levels for Kirby to explore. The other day I made a theory video talking about the people of the Forgotten Land actually used the warp technology in order to go to Planet Popstar because it said it was the land of dreams, it's dreamland. So maybe there's actual story elements behind that and maybe now we can start to explore like exactly where the population went. Maybe the whole post game is about us finding where this civilization went and maybe how they died out if they're not alive anymore or maybe they're on a different planet or completely different solar system that we get to fly around and try to find and maybe we can uncover bits and pieces of elements like that it would even add to the lore so that would be super exciting this kind of goes hand in hand with more extra worlds and levels to complete post game but we definitely need some more copy abilities i would love to see some of the already well established copy abilities from the very beginning of the kirby days to make a return here in kirby return to dreamland to see how they would actually work in a 3d setting that would be super cool and super fun there's still so many that we haven't seen so far like spark or maybe even jet or fighter ninja wing even leaf for crying out loud would be just kind of interesting to see in 3d i mean i would really like to see yo-yo I think that would probably be one of my coolest to see in a 3D aspect, but there's still so many Kirby copy abilities that just haven't even been seen so far or even touched on in this 3D space that I think would work perfectly. And it even makes sense because if Kirby's going back to Dreamland, lots of these enemies are probably still going to be there, giving Kirby these copy abilities. You could even have Wheel for crying out loud. I know Kirby can turn into a car, uh, but I just still would love to kind of drive around a whole landscape as a wheel. Come on, that'd be a lot of fun. Of course, these could also all have evolutions of their own that you can upgrade, which would be so much fun to see kind of how Kirby gets better items of these versions as well. Like for instance, Umbrella could have even bigger umbrellas, maybe one with spikes on it or something. I don't know, or maybe one that just is a giant canopy umbrella that just covers almost the entire stage. Stuff like that would be so much fun to see. And I really hope to see, you know, the return of some of these copy abilities brought to Kirby in the Forgotten Land. I mean, even if they didn't add brand new worlds and instead they just had worlds full of treasure road missions that you could complete with these new copy abilities just to get rare stones in order to evolve them would be a lot of fun. This would keep you playing a lot and I feel like these treasure roads definitely put up a difficult task, if you, especially if you wanted to get that time. I mean, those times were really hard to get sometimes. Um, and obviously using new copy abilities to do these challenge missions would be a lot of fun and I think I would even accept that over having a new world sometimes because they were just so interesting and they're just like little spurts of fun little missions for you to complete. Even if they add more missions with the already established items I think would be good 
in like a cool little free update, at least until we wait for some of the bigger things. One of my favorite parts of Kirby and the Forgotten Land was the end of the post game, which actually took you back to Redguard Dreams, and you got to fight a lot of these mini bosses with mouthful mode abilities. I thought that was really cool, and I was really expecting that to be in the main game at some point in time, but they never threw us anything like this. I was really hoping to use some of these abilities because we know they all actually have hurt boxes where they can hurt enemies and they deal a specific amount of damage as if it's like programmed. Even Carmouth Kirby has programmed damage output when you use glitches, so it made me wonder there had to be some type of boss rush or something with these abilities, right? Not in the main game, at least not yet. I would love to see some type of boss rush or some type of extra mode where you can only play as mouthful mode abilities. Maybe that's the post game where Kirby gets some type of disease, it gets worse, whatever he got getting into this world, it gets a lot worse to the point where he can't even be back to normal Kirby, which means you have to always complete a level using nothing but that copy ability, which I think would be a lot of fun. Nothing but mouthful mode sounds like a blast just running through an entire level as a complete bending machine. That would be awesome, and I would just really love to fight bosses with these things. If they really just had a new Coliseum mission where you had to use mouthful mode, and maybe they even changed the bosses up a little bit to work with each mouthful mode. For instance, I know things like the forklift probably wouldn't work real well because with the scissor lift, you're going left and right, and you can't really do anything else besides go left and right on a track, and then obviously push Kirby up and down. So maybe they actually rearrange or change the way a boss works where it's like kind of in the background and it jumps in the foreground, you have to hit it real quick and go back and forth. Just kind of changing up how bosses play and giving you new functions to do with it with these new copy abilities or really these new mouthful modes. I think this would be a lot of fun. Something else I thought about is just simply adding more bosses, just having more arena boss fights. They could all be in a very basic form of arena. You don't have to build a whole brand new stage for this or just simply have them fight in the arena already the way you do with Meta Knight. I would like to see just kind of some past bosses maybe brought back. Maybe there's some type of side story where some type of dimensional rift opens up and old bosses come through or something. I don't know. They do it all the time with some of their spinoffs, so I would love to see something like this. Especially now, this is one of our first times being able to fight bosses in 3D with Kirby. I would love to see tons of past bosses come back from past games, allowing us to fight them in the Coliseum. We only have three different forms of the Coliseum right now, being the Meta Knight Cup, the Ultimate Cup, and then the Ultimate Z Cup. So I would love to see something like maybe the Throwback Cup, or maybe the Triple Deluxe, or Planet Robobot Cup, the Star Allies Cup, something like that from the past games would be really interesting. And obviously, it would still have to 3D model all of these bosses, add music, add all types of movesets that they can do. So yeah, it would be a lot of work, but come on. We all know that we finally want to see a 3D battle against Marks. We've fought Marks all over again, and even in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So let's fight them in a 3D space before we say our final farewells to the character. And finally, I'd be even kind of content if they just add some free updates, at least for now. Like, for instance, like they did with Metroid Dread, there was a get hit once mode and you're dead. I would like that. We already have wild mode and, you know, the regular easy mode. So what if we had like a chaos mode where if Kirby takes one hit, he's dead. I would actually love to replay the entire game with chaos mode and maybe you get like a lot of more rewards, more rare stones and stuff to develop all your copy abilities. This would be a lot of fun. Or maybe just a mode where it's kind of a speed run to see how fast you can beat Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Just how fast you can blow through. Maybe there's no Waddle Dees or anything or any requirements for you to collect Waddle Dees and you can just blast through the game as fast as you can and get, you know, set record times, go to the Professor Waddle Dee and compare your times with some of the fastest in the world. That would be a lot of fun. An official speed run mode for Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Why not? But I think there's a lot of directions that HAL Labs could go here with DLC. I mean, I would even mind completing the game all over again with just Meta Knight, or maybe with just King DDD, or maybe seeing their sides of the story. That would be a lot of fun as well, but of course, let me know down below what you guys think about this. What type of DLC packs or information would you like to get coming up for this game very soon? Let me know in the comments down below, and if you have any more ideas, feel free to add them on, and maybe I'll make some separate videos and ideas, and maybe draw some concept about what these would look like. Thank you so much for tuning in, and like always, I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.